just as Jesus died and has risen again, so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. And as in Adam all die, so also in Christ will all be brought to life. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son, grace from the dead is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the morning veil covering all peoples and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth. For the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God, in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my salvation. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savour the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation, O Lord, hear my voice when I call, have mercy and answer. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek, hide not your face. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Hope is not deceptive, because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which has been given us. We were still helpless when at his appointed moment Christ died for sinful men. It is not easy to die, even for a good man, though of course, for someone really worthy, a man might be prepared to die. But what proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. Having died to make us righteous, is it likely that he would now fail to save us from God's anger. When we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, we were still enemies. Now we have been reconciled, surely we may count on being saved by the life of his son. Not merely because we have been reconciled, but because we are filled with joyful trust in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have already gained our reconciliation. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 This is the will of my Father, says the Lord, that I should lose nothing of all that has been given to me, and that I should raise it up on the last day. Alleluia. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to a town called Nain, accompanied by his disciples and a great number of people. When he was near the gate of the town, it happened that a dead man was being carried out for burial, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a considerable number of, his, of the town's people were with her. When the Lord saw her, he felt sorry for her. Do not cry, he said. Then he went up and put his hand on the bier, and the bearers stood still, and he said, Young man, I tell you to get up. And the dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Everyone was filled with awe and praised God, saying, A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. And this opinion of him spread throughout Judea and all over the countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us in faith call upon God, the Almighty Father, who raised Christ his Son from the dead, as we pray for the salvation of the living and the dead. That God may establish the Christian people in faith and unity, be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. That he may rescue the entire world from all the evils of war. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. That he may be pleased to show himself a father to our brothers and sisters who lack work food or housing. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. That he may grant to the souls of our brothers and sisters, friends and benefactors, the reward of their labours. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. May the prayer of those who cry to you benefit the souls of your servants, O Lord. Free them, we pray, from all their sins and make them sharers in your redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.